CIVA, the Community Integrated Vulnerability Assessment, is a way of um, assessing how co local communities are or could be impacted by climate change and natural disasters. So it's unique in that it assesses vulnerability, the vulnerability of communities from community perspective. So the CIVA uses participatory methods and tools to collect community information, community views about problems that they're experiencing on a daily basis and how those problems could possibly be worsened due to climate change uh, or natural disasters. And it also seeks to find out what is causing this, what are causing the problems that people face on a daily basis. Uh, and it could be environmentally related, it could be development related, it could be because of decisions people make either in re with regards to the way the natural resources are being managed and uh, how people interact with the environment. SIVA could be used for uh, various purposes and in a variety of con contexts. Um, a community can use it as a self vulnerability self-assessment tool. They can use that also for community-based monitoring and evaluation. Um, it could, uh, SIVA could also be used by uh, a development or adaptation, resilient development practitioners for the design of adaptation interventions that um, sense that's sensitive to culture, that is participatory, that engages people and facilitates a mobilization towards you know, adaptation. The SIVA could also be used, the data that you gather through a community integrated vulnerability assessment could be used to inform adaptation planning at the district level, at the higher levels, district level, at the provincial level, as well as uh, you know, national level. Uh, with vulnerability analysis at higher levels, you, you have to use data from various sources, technical as well as community. And so a systematic approach for assessing community vulnerability from the community perspective is probably uh, most effectively or more effectively done by using a SIVA approach. Anyone who has been briefed and understands the structure, the analytical framework of the SIVA, because it looks at all facets of, of community life. The SIVA is a way of assessing the changing conditions of livelihood assets. And livelihood assets include, include natural resources, infrastructure and services, finance, human skills and capabilities, as well as governance. So all communities have access to these kinds of assets. And so these assets change in the context of climate change, disasters, and development as well. And so as people's livelihoods, assets change, their ability to meet basic needs like food, water, shelter, um, income, changes with it. So that's what the SIVA is trying to assess, to systematically assess community perceptions of their livelihood assets and how that affects their basic needs. If we are looking, like the last 15 years, last 20 years, a lot of community-based adaptation has been uh, project-focused uh, or uh, project-oriented. And so there is a need to upscale community-based adaptation and incorporating community-identified needs and priorities and having that reflected in national adaptation plans and provincial development plans is a challenge when project-based community adaptation uses we use various forms of vulnerability assessments. So right now in the Pacific there are so many different types of vulnerability assessments. Some focus on agriculture, marine, uh, livelihoods and uh, of more, you know, focus more on envi uh, environment or, you know, social uh, 
social ad, uh, social development, human development. What the SIVA is trying to do is to find a common ground for these various vulnerability assessments and approaches that will allow some kind of a comparison across communities. That way the SIVA is contributing to uh, national level adaptation by engaging communities more in the planning and in the monitoring and evaluation of uh, adaptation. And then from there you can assess how are those resources changing now, how have they changed in the past, and how could they potentially change in the future, and how that will affect people's ability to meet their daily needs. I think it's important to note that the SIVA or uh, Community Integrated Vulnerability Assessment is a community application of the IVA itself, Integrated Vulnerability Assessment. So the IVA is a vulnerability assessment framework. It's not an adaptation planning framework. Okay, so the assessment framework is how do you assess vulnerability at the community level. The planning process is another process, but a good planning process will incorporate good data into decision making. And so the SIVA is a way of conducting vulnerability assessment at the community level that could contribute also to good uh, information uh, and knowledge sourcing for adaptation, decision making and planning at the national level, which in an ideal world would also influence regional and international adaptation planning.